What's going on guys? My name Damon. I'm bringing you another YouTube video. Today I'm going to do my Madden 21 Base Elite Predictions. This for the linebackers, but leave a like, a comment if you want to see some more uh, Base Elite Predictions. Let's start off. Last year, not last year, but you could say last year, last Madden, this Madden. They had 10 of them, so I'm going to give you my 10 predictions, who I think it should be. Like, it was, I wouldn't say this list was so easy to make, but mm, it was all right. It's kinda, it was kind of easy. Because this, I'm going to go on who I think should have, you know, the best year or who had the best year or had a good year or all right year. So, let's get right into the first part. Oh, this is outside linebackers and uh, inside linebackers. Not Outside pass rushes like you run a full three. Like inside, inside whoever played covers linebacker. So this is my covers linebacker list. Obviously, it's going to be Devin Bush. This dude here, amazing. I was so mad when the Eagles didn't draft him. He he went uh 10 overall. I was like, man, I hope the Eagles, man, trade up in the draft and go get Devin Bush, man. I like him so much, man. All that. Eagles did dumb stuff. They didn't get him. The Lions picked the tight end. Eagles literally could trade Jack Ertz for him and pick up Devin Bush. The Lions picked the tight end any way it goes. So why not trade Zach Ertz? We already have two of them. But Devin Bush, he's my first uh, prediction to get uh, a base elite call. I think his overall going to be probably 82 because his... Let me see what his highest overall was in the in Madden this year. His highest overall was a 93. So, I don't think he's not going to be no, like, no 87 or 88. So, probably 83 is going to be good. 83 or 82. But I guess a 83 because, you know, he's, like, the second best person on the Steelers. Uh, TJ Watts is the first. Juju, he's garbage. He's not enough, though. My next prediction is back-to-back -back Devin's. Devin White this time. So he is up on his list because I don't really think he's going to get one. So I'd say his, his base lead should be an 80. But I just put him in here because there's another middle linebacker you could put. Because uh, Luke Keighley retired. So I just put him in the place of Luke Keighley. So I don't think he's going to get a base lead card. But if he do, it's going to be 80. Because I don't feel like he did right, not really that much this year. Like... I don't probably because I don't tune into the uh, Buccaneers, so I really don't know what they be doing. But Devin Bush, they ESPN, not ESPN, uh, Sports Network, NFL Sports Network, something like that. They always talk about uh, Devin Bush. Always talk about him. Devin White never had nothing about him. So I guess his year was okay, or his shit was garbage. <laughs> it was one of those. Next up is my boy, De uh, Fred Warner. He, that dude dope. They got him as outside, right outside linebacker, but he played middle linebacker. But he's, let me see. Mm, is he? Yeah, I can say it. Him and Devin Bush. Devin Bush is my favorite linebacker in the game, too. But Fred Warner, that dude amazing. I literally watched two 49ers games. Not in a playoff game. It was, uh... Something, I think it was like weeks 13 and week 16 or something. One of those, one of those, I mean, both of those, like, I don't know what, was, what uh, games it was, but that dude was, that dude was dope. That dude was, he was really working out there. So his base elite card is going to be like an 86, 85. He's going to be one of the highest overall, uh, what do you call it, players. Don't, don't look at my, uh, my rookie, my rookie peer, players over there. That, that, that's for another video. That's a, uh, that's a tell you right now, a little giveaway coming out. So, subscribe, like, comment, do whatever you want to do. You don't have to if you don't want to. But that little, that's a little giveaway for the uh, next video. But right there, yeah, for everyone, 97, 96, probably 90. I, well, I said 95 or 96? Probably 96. I don't think they will give him a 97. He should. He deserved 90, uh, 88, basically. But I don't think they're going to give him uh, that much high just for one year. Next is Telvin Smith. 
I don't even know he gonna be in Madden 20 because they say he was kissing little kids and shit. Well, nah, I'm not gonna say little kids. Underage girls, so they were probably like 16, 17, 18. I don't even know why he was doing that. He's a millionaire. That's it. His pickup line, he could literally walk up to any pretty girl and say, hey, I'm a millionaire. Show the bank account. They don't need to know your name or nothing. They was going to come home with you. So, I, I don't know why he kissing little girls. He must must have too much hits or something. I don't know. He, wow, that dude crazy. So, if he is in the game, basically going to be 80. Because he, he ain't played this year. Again, something wrong with his head. He was having... Mental issues or something, family issues or something that he couldn't even have to miss the whole year, even though he's personally healthy. So, I don't think he's going to be in the game. Nah, because Tyreek Hill, he was in the game and he he did some disgusting stuff. He hurt his little kid. Like, I don't know what's wrong with these NFL people. I guess they're doing too much hits. They're getting too much hits or they're tackling too many people and they, they have to do some weird stuff. I don't know. Tyreek Hill, definitely don't mess with Tyreek Hill. All the people out there who mess with Tyreek Hill, I knew it was a reason why I never liked Tyreek Hill. I knew it was some reason why. That's That must be the reason why he was doing some dumb stuff on the scene. Breaking a little kid arm and stuff. I don't know what's wrong with that dude. But Tyreek Smith, maybe. Maybe in the game. Maybe not if he is 80. But I'm right, but time out. Because Le'Veon Bell missed a whole year and came back and he was he was an eighty five. So he probably be an eighty five too, is basically. Maybe. I don't know. The next up is Bobby Wagner. I was not gonna put him on the list because I this is my prediction. This is like a guarantee. He's gonna be a eighty eight base league player because like every year, the last three Maddens in a row. If you count this one, I think it's gonna be three Maddens in a row or two Maddens in a row. He was an 87 then an 88 basically. So that's like guarantee he's gonna be the highest uh, linebacker. So that's all you got to, that's all I gotta say about him. His guarantee, 88. So next on the list is Jaden Smith. His basically gonna be an 80, but him and uh Leighton Van Der Esch, those dudes dope. Especially Jaden Smith. To say what, four years ago, three years ago? One of those that the doctor said he his leg, he probably could never walk again. No longer play football. All that weird stuff. I'm like, wow. I watched the interview. I was like, wow, the doctor already said that to him? He, he obviously proved the doctor wrong. He, he out there playing at a high level. So I think his uh, basically going to be an 80. No, no, wait. Yeah. Leighton Van Rice didn't do nothing this year. He didn't really do that. He was at an okay year, but... I like Leighton Van Der Esch better, so I think, yeah, I get Leighton Van Der Esch the other one, so you can guess who's up next. Leighton Van Der Esch or Leighton Van Der Esch. <laughs> so I think his overall going to be like an 81 or 82. Not an 83, because he had a down year this year. So last this year, yeah, this Madden, his base league was an 83. So this year, the next year in like Madden 21, it had to be an 81, 82, because he had a a down year. So, yeah, he dope. Leighton Van Der Esch, that dude right there, that dude really dope. Again, another play I wanted the Eagles to pick. No, no. Did I? No. When I wanted the Eagles to pick him, it was too late. It was like week two or something. something. Week two or week three. When I when I was like, I ain't been doing nothing about him until I saw him play. So, I can't say I wanted the Eagles to play him. That's, that's a lie. But after I saw that dude play, I was like, Wow. No Eagles people who get paid to draft players, to scout players, didn't find Leighton Van Der Esch just out there? What the, what, what the Eagles doing? Even though we, we don't have no linebackers. Just let them know. Eagles have no linebackers this year, literally. I think they're out there playing with nobody. I think I think Hollins and Rose are out there playing linebacker this year. I really think so. Because I, I don't know who out there playing linebacker this year. <laughs> they say, Hollins Rose. Next on the list is Mac Wilson and Joe. These two dudes right here, kill it, especially Joe. Right here, this dude really dope. Uh, the past two years in a row, they had over 110 tackles each. 
So I don't know why Madden messing over them. So one of them should have a base elite. I think they basically should be 80 because it's their first time. But their play style should be like an 85 or 84 base elite. So I say one of them should get it. I like Joe better because he's faster. Next on the list is Eric Kendricks. He's just the uh, because this who I should this who I want. I know I'm not putting the people like guaranteed people, but this is like what do you call not guaranteed people. This is like prediction. This, this is prediction because Bobby Webb. I didn't want to put him on the list because that's guaranteed stuff. So that's not a prediction. That is saying something that's happening or going to happen. So him and 55 is dope. Uh, Derek Barnett. That's the 55 to on on uh Vikings. He dope. I saw his uh his rookie year had a game uh overtime game that he first play a game of overtime. They was on defense. He literally scripted the dude, made him fumble, picked the fumble up, and ran it back for a touchdown. When I saw that, I was like, that dude really dope. That's a real baller right there. He wanted the game to get over. He must have something to do after that. I said 82. I think it's going to be higher than the 80. I hope y'all like the video. I hope y'all subscribe. But if you don't want to subscribe, don't do it. <laughs> if you don't want to. But next video, I have a giveaway for y'all. Y'all going to like the giveaway. Let me see. It's the best. Mutt mid. It's the best. Mutt giveaway that I saw a YouTube do. Any YouTuber do. This mine's the best. Mine's is actually something that y'all want and can actually use instead of, you know, what do you call them? What they what do other people give away? Like ten dollar gift cards and ten dollar gift cards on a game and shit. Like who wanna you wanna open packs and you want you want some guaranteed stuff. So mine's gonna be some stuff you gonna really like. So stay tuned for that video and that's coming. Bye.